today we're going to talk about painting tipped strokes. And as you can see, I've been playing with some colors and painting strokes so that um, I can show you. Let me zoom in a little bit and let you see when you paint with more than one color, you can see the lines in the strokes. Just adds interest. And this is a piece that I'm going to be teaching in Oklahoma. And it has um, tipped strokes here in the flower. And on the tail feathers on the chicken, they're also tipped. So I'm just using um, a number four round. And I put out a variety of colors. And I'm going to start with my favorite two colors to work with are red violet and either naphthal red or vermilion. And I'm using DecoArt Traditions paint. I like the full body that they have and they're all they all have the same loft. When I load my brush, I pull it through. I've dampened my brush and I've blotted the excess liquid out of my brush. So I've loaded it well. Then I tap gently tap it back into a point like that. And then when I, I'm going to use the vermilion, which is an orange, and I'm going to swirl it into the paint. It's standing straight up, swirl it. Then I'm going to tap it off on my palette, tap, 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 until I begin to see the other color come through. And when I paint a comma stroke, I set the brush down, give the bristles a few moments to fan out on their own and that allows the paint to spread through so that when you begin to pull you will be able to see the two colors. So you can see a little bit of the orange. Now if I want more orange to show I'm going to not tap off quite so much. So I do reload every time and I'm going to load into the orange and I'm just going to tap a few times. I'm going to set my brush down and I'm going to let the bristles fan out, spread, and begin to pull so you can see the strokes. What happens if we, we've got our red violet in the brush and I also have the orange still in there. I'm going to tip it into some Hansa yellow and I'm going to tap it off. Now that makes a really pretty color and you can see the three colors. You can see the yellow and the orange and you're also seeing a little bit of green because if you add enough yellow to the red violet you're going to get a green color. This is one way to just add interest. If you want to make something an interesting Combina stroke combination, turn it upside down now and pull a stroke the other way and pull it right back in to this one, slow and steady. I paint all my comma strokes like this. Whether it's got one or two colors on the brush, I set my brush down, I let the bristles fan out and then I slowly pull and then begin to lift until I get a nice tail take your time. These tail feathers were done with black and white and I've loaded my brush in black because I want the white to show. I I'm, I'm, was working on a black background and I'll do it on both for you and then I'm going to swirl it into white and I'm going to tap it off. Now when I make this um, I'm going to start here with my brush up. I'm going to set it down, let it rest. Then I'm going to push it around. Push, 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 and then pull in a big, almost a C stroke. If you don't have enough paint on your brush, you're going to see this little airy stuff. On a regular stroke, that would bother me, but on this one, we're going to be covering it up because we're going to be layering more tail feathers. So I'm just going to push and each one is going to be a little different because I'm not 
rinsing my brush, I have colors in there. So I'm going to have a variety of grays. I'm going to pull another big one around and tuck it right in there. You can pull them into each other. And that's how this is created and the tail feathers here. Again, I've got my black, and then I'm going to tip it into white, and I'm going to tap it off, and I'm going to work on black. So you can see the contrast. Slow. Especially with white, if you use a dark and a light color, you're going to see a lot of line work, a lot of li extra lines in there that that add interest. So you can see them. And that's not to say that you don't you can't come back with a liner and pull in some different colors from the bottom or add more to the top to the tip. But this gives you a good base and a good way to start. So Take your time, load your brush, practice, set it down, pull, pull around, keeping pressure until you start to lift off for that tail. So get yourself a piece of paper and practice. Stroke work takes practice. And practice makes perfect. I hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Thank you very much.